for this project we need fingerprint scanner i'm using dy50 l293d it is motor driver ic arduino a small breadboard and a door model i already uploaded a video on this link is given in the description below before watching this video please watch that video in that video i have explained its pins that is the close pin the open pin and the ground pin so this is the thing we need to make this project now we'll see the connection here this is the arduino l293d the door model fingerprint scanner dy50 here you can see the fingerprint scanner has six pin but we need only four the first four pin that is ground rx tx and 3.3 volt ground rx tx and 3.3 volt the ground will be connected to the ground of arduino rx pin to the pin number 3 d3 pin and tx will be connected to the pin number 2 and 3.3 volt will be connected to the 3.3 volt of arduino this is digital pin 2 digital pin 3 here d4 and d5 d4 will be connected to the pin number 2 of l293d and d5 of arduino is connected to the pin number 7 of l293d pin number 1 8 and 16 are connected to the plus 5 volt and pin number 4 5 12 and 13 are connected to the ground as you know the door has three pins the ground pin will be connected to the ground pin number 6 of l293d will be connected to the open pin of the door and pin number 3 to the close pin and v in pin of arduino should be connected to the plus 5 volt and ground to the ground so this is the circuit now we'll do the connection for this we need to install one library go to sketch include library manage libraries type fingerprint this is the one you need to install i already installed it after installing now close now go to file examples adafruit fingerprint sensor then enroll upload this it is uploaded turn on serial monitor we can store 127 fingers on this sensor so it means it has 127 ids now we'll store our first finger to the id1 so type 1 and send now the sensor is searching for finger i'll authorize my index finger on this so i'm putting my index finger the right hand index finger image is taken now remove again place it the id1 is stored now if you want to add another finger then type 2 and send now again the sensor is searching for another finger now this time i'll store my ring finger image is taken now remove again place it id2 is stored so this is how we can store up to 127 fingers after storing your finger we have to upload another program so this is the program you need to upload the program is uploaded after uploading this we can remove our system 
from Arduino. Now we can do our further connection. On the breadboard, I am putting L293D. The ground pin of door is connected to the negative rail. Close pin to the pin number 3 of the IC. Open pin to the pin number 6 of the IC. The door is connected with the IC. Now we have to connect the IC to the Arduino. Pin number 7 to the D5. Pin number 2 to the D4. Ground rail to the ground of the Arduino and positive rail to the V in. The Arduino board is connected. Now we have to connect fingerprint scanner to the Arduino. The ground of the scanner connecting to the ground of Arduino. Positive pin of the Arduino that is 3.3 volt to the 3.3 volt of Arduino. TX to pin number 2. or D2 and Rx to the D3 of Arduino. After connecting this, I am connecting the power supply for the IC. Pin number 1, 8 and 16 are connected to the positive rail and pin number 4, 5, 12 and 13 to the negative rail. Ok, now we can connect the power supply. Here it is negative and the positive. Now I am placing my index finger on the sensor. It will be open for 5 seconds. Now automatically closed. As I have also authorized the ring finger. It works. If I place unauthorized finger. Putting my thumb, it will not work. Again, authorized finger, it works. So, guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another topic. Till then, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.